Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for those of you who are returning. If you are new here visiting for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Anita with Anita by Design, and here on my YouTube channel, you will find step-by-step, -step, very detailed sew-alongs, tutorials, pattern reviews, and other sewing-related content to help you with your sewing projects. Today, I have a pattern review for you. I'm gonna be reviewing the Rio Ringer T-shirt by True Bias Patterns, and I'm wearing the T-shirt right now. If you have been following along, then you know I'm on this journey into sewing more patterns from independent pattern designers. So I've purchased five different patterns from True Bias, and I'm gonna sew through those, and then I'm gonna move on to another indie designer. Along the way, I am trying to sew garments that accommodate my current lifestyle in this time of living through the pandemic where we're not really to really able to go a lot of places. So I need casual pieces, casual separates, casual dresses where I can kick it around the house, go to the grocery store, run my errands, and just be comfortable wherever I'm gonna go. Now, I'm not saying that I won't so any more glam pieces, I will, but right now I need to focus on making sure I have those comfortable pieces that I need, including some nice tops because I am participating in Zoom meetings during the week and I'm running out of tops to wear on the, <laughs> on the Zoom meeting, so I'm focusing on that right now. At the end of the video, I have a few photos of inspiration for you from other designers who have made the Rio Ringer t-shirt. So let's go ahead and get into the pattern review. So this is the Rio Ringer t-shirt and it also comes with a dress. It's available in sizes zero through 30. We're looking at the PDF for sizes zero through 18 right now, but it also comes in 18 through 30. They also have a mini Rio Ringer t-shirt for kids. The fabric suggestions are of course, knit fabric and they suggest one with 40 percent or more stretch i used this beautiful ity knit that i've had in my fabric collection for a very long time i'm not sure where i purchased it from but i am going to leave a link in the description box below for knit fabrics that you can take a look at for options this one is very drapey it has a really nice drape it's very thin and has a good amount of stretch, so it's great for this t-shirt. For the binding, they recommend light to medium weight fabrics with 75% or more stretch, such as a rib knit, and I'll show you what I used for my binding. For my arm and neck bands, I'm gonna be using this rib knit that I had in my stash. I'll leave a link in the description box below for options for you. But what I really like about this one is the recovery. When I stretch it, it goes right back to its original shape. Depending on the fabric content of the rib knit that you choose, some of them will stretch and not go back to the original shape and it gives you, it, it distorts the fabric. And I, I prefer to have one that recovers very well. So you may wanna look in, if you are able to go in person to the fabric store, then you can test it out to see if it has that recovery. If not, and you're purchasing online, just look in the description box to see how much spandex is in in the fabric content and the higher the number then the greater the return will be if you're not familiar with how to measure the amount of stretch in your fabric i'm going to give you a quick tutorial using my yardstick and you can use any ruler i'm going to measure four inches of fabric on the crosswise length of the fabric the four represents 100 percent each number after the four is representing 25% increments. So if the fabric stretches from four to five, then it has 25% stretch. If it goes to six, that's 50% stretch. Seven is 75% and then eight would be 100% stretch. So to measure the four inches, I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna fold it. I'm working away from the selvage edge. I'm not using the selvage edge in my measurement. I'm gonna move over and fold it in half so that I have two layers of fabric. And I'm gonna measure four inches without stretching the fabric. And then I'm going, we need ours to reach over to seven. So I'm gonna stretch from four to seven 
and it reaches. So this fabric does have 75% stretch and it's okay to use for my arm and neck bands. And for difficulty, they recommend advanced beginner sewing skills to sew the t-shirt. Okay, here I am wearing the t-shirt with a pair of jeans and I'm trying to embrace this half tuck shirt look that I have resisted for a while. I don't even know if I'm wearing it right, so you guys tell me. <laughs> tell me if it's not right because I, don't let me walk around looking ridiculous, all right? <laughs> And then the sleeve, I love the binding. I love the, the cuffs on the sleeve with that rib knit and the double or the twin needle stitching on top. It looks really good and the perfect is, or the fit is perfect for me. Same thing with the neckline, I like it. But there is a hack on the True Bias website for a lower neckline. You see there, she, this is the designer and she lowered the neckline. I'm gonna do that next time, it looks much better. The length of the t-shirt, I like it. I like that it's just above the hip, not too long, not too short, so I like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to embrace this half tuck look, you guys. Tell me in the comments if I'm wearing it right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, this is for going out for errands, kicking it around the house. And then of course I had to dress it up. This is my Simplicity, I think it's 8936. 8956 pants that I made. And this gorgeous bag was gifted to me by my friend Glenda at Bean Jewelry and Accessories. She, this was the last one in her shop and she wanted to give it to me, so she sent it to me. But if you like this and you're interested, the designer is Tracy Ambrose and her website is tracyambrosewrap.com. I'll leave that in the description box below. Now, when you're carrying a big old bag, you've got to wear some big jewelry. So I threw on my big hoop earrings and all of my bangles <laughs> to finish up the look. And I'm really liking this. Yeah, the pants are Simplicity 8956. And I made these last year and I love them and they look really good with this t-shirt to dress it up a little bit. You can take this anywhere where you want to get out to lunch with your girlfriends, with your honey, date night, whatever. And here we go again. I dressed it down with a pair of white shorts. These white denim shorts are ready to wear. I've had them for a while and there I am with the half tuck look again and I'm carrying my little crochet purse that I made about five or six seven years ago and this is cool for just running quick errands where you don't want to take a full bag I just throw my ID or whatever in my little crochet clutch purse and head out to the store or wherever I'm going but I really like this t-shirt with the with the shorts and the flip-flops very casual kick it around the house go to the grocery store run errands, wherever, but you're still looking cute. And honey, yes, you know I had to put on my lace skirt. If you've been around for a while, you know I love wearing this lace skirt. And this I can take to church. I can take it to the tea party. You can take it out on a date with your husband or your significant other. Yes, I will wear a t-shirt with a lace skirt. I have no problem with it. As far as the accessories, I am wearing these beautiful pearl earrings from Glenda with being jewelry and accessories. And then the pearls, I've had those for a long time, the bracelets. And then the brooch, I just threw that on to dress it up a little bit more. But yeah, I'm loving the dressed up look with the t-shirt. And one more dress down, I had to pair it with my True Bias Hudson pants. These joggers are so cute and it took me three tries to tr get the fit at close to what I like. And I'm gonna do a separate pattern review on that so you'll hear more about it later. But I really, really like those and I've got the half tuck shirt going again. So let me know you guys, let me know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> and I threw on my tennis shoes and yeah, this is ready for anything, casual, wherever. Now I wanna give you some inspiration from other creators in our sewing community. This is Meg and I love what she did. She made herself a cute little outfit with a pair of joggers to go with her t-shirt. This is Nastasia and she made the dress version and doesn't she look lovely? I love the fit on that. And then when Michelle, she's one of the testers for this pattern and she, I love her t-shirt. And then she also did a hack for a sleeveless version of the dress. So if you're interested in 
learning how to do that, then you can go over to her blog. And this is Kaylee, and you can see that she lowered the neckline on her t-shirt, and I love it. I can't wait to do that. And the fit is really good. I love the way this t-shirt fits her. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more like this and you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then I invite you to get subscribed by hitting the subscribe button down below. And after you hit that button, a little bell will appear to the right of the subscribe button. Make sure that you click that button because when you do, you will receive a notification whenever I post a new video here to my YouTube channel. That way you won't miss anything. Thank you again for watching and until next time, always remember, when you live in your design, it is from there that God shines. That means when you live according to the way that you have been created, it is from that place that God will use you to bless other people. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.